हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कामत एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टॉक ऑन अ डिफरेंट टॉपिक इज अ फुल फ्लैज इज्रेल हेजबोला वॉर लाइकली राइट नाउ सो वी विल डू अ वेरी शॉर्ट एनालिसिस एंड सी द पॉसिबल डेट और टाइम फ्रेम वेन दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कैन एस्कलेट इन अ बिग वे नाउ बिफोर वी प्रोसीड फर्दर let's have a look at israel's chart so the nation of israel was formed on 14th may 1948 at 4 pm tel aviv and if you see this chart you can see the 8th house of aries has rahu in it 8th house indicates hidden things and mars is its dispositor who is placed in the 12th house this is the reason why this country has been facing continuous air attacks through rockets and missiles from a foreign land currently it is having rahu mahadasha now let us look at lebanon's chart so it was formed on 22nd november 1943 beirut and if you see this chart you can see rahu is in the 12th house of cancer along with pluto pluto is an indicator of mass destruction and rahu in the 12th indicates massive losses now again israel is currently undergoing the rahu mahadasha so these losses are going to come via israel is what this chart clearly shows however lebanon has ketu in the 6th house of capricorn which forms a shatru hanta yog which means it is not going to be very easy for israel to fight with hezbollah in lebanon so it is going to be a long prolonged war if it happens and it is not going to be easy for israel because the placement of ketu in the 6th house destroys enemies easily now if you look at the natal chart of lebanon you can see that the 10th house of taurus has uranus and mars in it you can see the purple square there in the left hand side chart so mars indicates extreme violence and uranus indicates sudden events revolutions attacks so when mars and uranus come at the same degree which is going to happen on 16 july 2024 in the same sign of taurus that is the point when this conflict can escalate in a big way so around 16 july 2024 uranus and mars are at exact 2 degrees in the sign of taurus and if you see the fourth house in transit that is scorpio is receiving the combined aspect of saturn mars and jupiter which again indicates a war like situation coming up in the motherland if you look at the transit chart also sun is 12th from its own house again it indicates loss of life due to war and conflict in the transit chart saturn and sun are at 6 8 positions from each other forming a shadashtak Rahu is again in the eighth house with Neptune, indicating sudden attacks, hidden attacks, hidden conspiracies, and therefore this war is most likely to happen around sixteen July two thousand twenty-four or escalate in a big way in this time frame. But there is a savior here in the sign of Taurus. You have Jupiter, and Jupiter is a negotiator. Jupiter is an advisor. so if israel heeds to the right kind of advice then this war can be prevented so if there is the influence of a western country such as usa who succeeds in brokering some kind of deal then this conflict may be delayed or avoided and it may not happen around this time frame but if you see the dispositor of taurus that is jupiter dispositor who is venus is also in the 12th house with sun around 16 july 2024 and therefore it is afflicted 
and not powerful which again means that the negotiations may fail and most likely this conflict will escalate around 16 July 2024 is what the astrological combination show right now. Now one more interesting thing if you look at the left hand side chart Sun is in the 4th house of Scorpio again 4th house is the motherland and Sun indicates political forces, government, people in power. If you look at the transit chart, Sun is in the 12th house of Cancer, which means the politicians from Lebanon may flee to foreign countries when this war starts. The sixth lord of conflicts is Saturn, who is placed in the 7th house of partnerships in its own Mool Tricorn sign of Aquarius in the transit chart of 16 July 2024 that again shows conflict with neighbors. Saturn and Venus are in Shadashtak Yoga. Venus is the third lord in the transit chart. So again it shows a big conflict with a neighboring country for Lebanon. So 16 July 2024 rather the mid of July 2024 is when this conflict is likely to become a full-fledged war or escalate in a big way unless a negotiation happens through Jupiter and a deal is brokered. Now Uranus and Mars are coming together in an earth sign. So during this time period, there can be big earthquakes in India in the northern region as well as Lebanon and the countries near Israel. It is difficult for me to predict the exact location, but this is also a strong possibility in this time frame. So friends, if any one of you are staying in Lebanon, it is the best time to move out now. It is not safe to be there. Travel to this country is best avoided. Do not travel to Israel and Lebanon in this time frame. So friends, if you like this video, please mark it as liked on YouTube. You can visit our website astroseva.tripod.com to know more about us. For any queries, you can write to us at astrosevaworld at yahoo.com and we'll try to assist you. So friends, thanks a lot. Bye. Take care and stay safe.